What's up, YouTube? This is TG Stang coming at you with a, uh, a work in progress. I'm kind of doing a little something different. Um, you've probably seen a couple of my videos I've done on uh, RX78, and that was already complete. Um, this year I'm working on the perfect grade. If I can get this in shot, hold on. The uh, perfect grade strike Gundam this year. I wanted to get this one because I thought like the articulation on it was really great, and, uh, and really uh, the detail inside the inner frame is really incredible. And I always that's always why I pick up perfect grades. So without further ado, I'll show you um, a little of my process um, and how far I've come along. And I think um, it just gets enough views, and if people like it, I, I might continue on with this sort of thing. Um, I haven't gotten too far into it, and um, so well, let's first start off with the uh, the beam rifle here. Uh, all this is painted. I what I do is I um, was inspired by how Vegeta does his painting, uh, clipping them off the trees and then clipping them on using some quarter inch. Um, wooden dowels, a little tape on top, and an alligator clip on top. Like this, this painting way is really nice. So the entire um, kit is painted in this flat black, and I go in with um, different kind of paints. I use Tamiya paint, and I also use Model Masters paint, which is I really recommend. Um, so I use these paints here, and they go in and highlight certain areas. I'll turn my light off here. It's even better. And I highlight certain areas where I think uh, will look nice, like the the red and blue pipes here, and the red pipe that's going underneath, and the silver vents with the copper metal area here. And I just, you know, kind of go off the whim, color color certain areas, and see how it looks. If I don't like it, I'll go back and. Uh, I'll repaint it. Also, if you could see close, I also do a little weathering at the tip there. Throughout the whole kit, I'm not sure if it's going to come up nice, but you can see a little bit down by the handle. That's a little bit of dry brushing. So that's the inside of the gun here. You can place these uh, bits here on top. So it's. I really like how this gun is. Like this is the most detailed gun out of all of the perfect grades I've done so far. Um, I've only built. Uh, four of them so far. Um, and this is, I believe, I'm I'm not that into Gundams. I, I love building the models themselves. I just I've never watched the shows outside of um, Double Zero and Double O Gundam. That's the only series I ever watched and really enjoyed. But I believe this is called the Grand Slam. If I'm wrong, just tell me. And I'll try to remember it. But um, you know, I love the chrome that they do for the bits for um. You know the hydraulics and for this giant weapon here. It's pretty, pretty cool. Really shiny. I also, you know, I highlighted certain areas. You know, figure where it would look nice. And I also did a little bit of weathering, as you can see here, and up here. And the cool thing about this is it transforms. It's a little stiff due to the paint I have, but it transforms. The handles down here, and you got this big knife here. Which would probably do some serious, serious damage. So, oh god. Might have to go back and open that up and scrape some of that paint. It is really, really, really tight. So, I haven't gotten too far into it. I've done the weapons for it. I haven't done the um, the little hand weapons. I'm not sure what these are called. I don't know what they're called. Hold on. That's in Japanese. But the, the little blades that go into the, um, the skirt armor. Um, I'm not sure what they're called. I'm sure you guys know and they'll tell me. But like I said before, I'm not I don't watch all Gundam shows, but I, I do enjoy the modeling. I think Bandai has some great products and it. it's really fun to just just build them. So um here I have one foot completed for the inner frame wise. And uh, I've done the same technique. I painted the whole thing flat black with spray paint. Uh, it was attached with spray paint, if you're wondering. <coughs> Sorry. And then um I go in with my paints, and I paint 
certain areas where I think it will look nice and what not and um I just go like that. Like I like I like highlighting pipes and the little I would guess these would be like the engine the engine bits on the side here because you know you got the foot down here. Well, like the uh, the engine boost is here on the foot. I think I think it looks really nice. And I also did the um, little bit of weathering to try to make it look you know like it's metal, it's been used, it's been banged up, and whatnot. And this is the piston parts I was talking about that are in this chrome area. It, it it's really nice and really sticks out, especially when you got all the armor on it. And it looks really nice. And down here is the other foot, but I haven't put it together. It's the same thing. You know, I haven't I haven't weathered this yet though. This is just, you know, the flat black with the uh just paint apps on it. Um but uh I was just doing a new thing here. Uh, also I painted that the soles of the foot too. Let's see if that weathering comes up here. You can see how it looks. I think it's coming up very nice. You know, this is my first time like really starting to really weather and dry brushing and whatnot. So if you guys have any techniques or uh, suggestions, um all it is for it. Um, you know, I'm not I've been building models for a while, but I haven't haven't really gotten this into detail with it before. You know, usually I just paint it and put it together and that's it. Um but uh in recent years like I've well recent it's the recent last year or so I've been really getting into weathering and trying to learn everything about it. So if you enjoy this video I'll make gladly make more. As you can see I still got a ton of more work to do. I still got both legs, arms, and the chest piece, and the head, and also the outer armor, where it's, uh, I'm going to start learning how to airbrush shadows and stuff like that, so hopefully that comes out nice, so, uh, yep, so that's all I have for now, if, uh, you like this video, uh, just leave a comment below, and I will continue doing these videos, if you don't, then I, <laughs> obviously I'll stop doing them, and maybe show you the finished product when it's all done, but, um, thank you very much for watching, and take care.